Hey guys, Donald Wombat here, and it's time for another episode of... Dick Moves. If you lay bouncing Betty's or C4 on the ground and put a shock charge next to it, you're a dick. Now the guys over at Tryout had a bit of a brain fade when they decided to put shock charges in the game. Those things are a noob's best friend. Put a couple of those things in the doorways to your little camper room and you've got yourself an alarm system. But when they coupled them with the overpowered bouncing Betty in this game, then that's when a whole shitstorm started. It's possibly the most brainless thing a COD player could do. It takes no skill to put a bouncing Betty next to a shock charge, and these are the kids that are never going to be any good at COD. I mean, is it really fun to get 5 kills in a team deathmatch because you camp the whole game? Fuck no, that's boring as shit. Stop camping, stop using shock charges and bouncing Betty, and run around the goddamn map. I think it may make the game a little bit more enjoyable for yourself as well. On Don's dick scale of dickiness, I would compare this to, if you went to KFC and ordered a big greasy bottle of chicken, only to be told by the person serving you that they are out of chicken. But wait, there's more. Just when you think it couldn't have got it any worse, kids found a way to make for an even shittier, annoying use for chalk charges. Now with the bouncing Bettys, at least you have a chance to get away from them. So what do these noobs do? They whack the C4 next to them. Shock charges goes off, and then boom, the C4 goes off. Good luck fucking dodging that shit. The same bulk can't dodge that shit. This wraps up this episode of Dick Moves. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Wombat. Catch you later.